Hi everyone, meteorologist Matt Gray. Some more spotty snow showers through the overnight and more snow coming in on Monday and lasting through Tuesday with yet even more snow coming later this week. So boy, quite a wintry feeling even though our temperatures will get above freezing each afternoon. For the overnight, we'll drop down into the lower and middle 20s. We'll see a few snow flurries as we head into the early hours of the morning. I'll show you that in your future cast in just a second. And we will see some pretty chilly temperatures with clear skies across northeast Washington. 15 in Omak and Colville and down to the single digits in the Met Howe Valley. Overall, a chilly night compared to the last couple of nights in the region. We'll be up into that 36 to 38 degree range around Spokane and Coeur d'Alene. Cold enough that whatever falls from the skies we go through the lunch hour will be snow, but I'm not expecting it much to be sticking until we get after the or into the evening commute and beyond. And I think that at least for the evening commute for Monday, things will be somewhat okay. It's when we get into Tuesday morning that's the issue. There's that early morning uh, snow flurry, snow showers that we can end up seeing. Here's lunchtime on Monday. The snow pushing towards places like Omak and Grand Coulee. And it'll sweep over the area in the afternoon. By the time we get to midnight on Tuesday, you can see more snow showers pulling in through the region. And there's the heaviest snow right for the Tuesday morning commute. And after that, it gets out of here fairly quickly. And so we'll actually end up, I think, with a pretty nice Tuesday afternoon. But until we get there, looks like some difficult commute times are ahead. So definitely want to use some caution on your Monday night commute. And Tuesday morning definitely looks like it could be a little tricky. You want to make sure that you plan that extra time with actively snow falling. That usually means that the roads will be quite a bit worse, especially after we cool down below freezing overnight. Here's our snow totals for the next two days. Expect more snow to more of the snow total to fall on Tuesday. Sandpoint could get up to around six inches by the time we're all done plus heavy snow on the passes so we're definitely going to see lots of wintry travel conditions here's what we are seeing for the next few days temperatures staying above freezing in the afternoon more snow coming in for thursday another round of snow potentially for saturday but we each get a break at least wednesday friday and then sunday from some of this more active weather